Afternoon guys, something a bit different today. I'm not on the e-bike. Um, the e-bike chatter videos have been going well. I hate you've been enjoying them. So I wanted to give you a little update on the solar system so far. Let's move my mouse out of the way. Um, basically, nothing's really changed here since the last one, but I'll catch you up on what, what we've got here. Um, so basically we've got 190 amp hour roughly of, um, these are lithium ferrite phosphate, LIFE PO4 batteries, four of them four of them not linked in series. We've got a Victron battery meter here, which just basically monitors what's coming in and what's going out. It also shows you uh, midpoint voltage. So that's the top two cells and that's the bottom two cells. Now that's pretty good for actually just at a glance uh, monitoring of the cell voltages, even though it's not every cell, it's only four cells in the battery, but basically two, um, you know, it gives you a midpoint voltage. And also because it's on that battery meter, it allows you to monitor it uh, remotely, which I'll show you the system in a minute that I'm using for that. So this is all wired up with nice hefty cable. We've got a 200 amp um, fuse here. We've got a Victron battery protect, which basically allows you to remote turn on and off the system. You can also disarm everything by just removing this little jumper thing here. But it's a good way of basically shutting things off if the voltage gets too low and, and a, a bunch of other things. You can configure this and um, it's pretty cool. Also in there's the shunt for the battery meter. If we come up here, we've got the Victron um, 120 uh, charge controller which is fantastic bit of kit it's nice and warm at the moment because of the good weather it's been quite interesting to see how much power we actually get in i'm getting above two kilowatts in um every day at the moment with just two panels remember from before if you watch the other videos i've just got two panels um it was just kind of an experiment and that's how it's kind of it stayed for the moment but i'm looking to expand it right on to other things so this is basically like the main breaker for turning on and off the um, solar panel so you can basically shut down the solar panels to, to in here um, to the workshop by just flicking that down. I've got basically one breaker here which turns on and off this charger so that sends the voltage from the panels to here and you can turn that on and off on that um, and then the, this other one here actually sends the PV voltage to this grid time inverter down here. That's my um, my normal inverter so you can basically run anything off this It's like an 800 watt inverter that's just connected directly to the battery um, and that's fantastic this is a grid time inverter that I was playing with before so the, if you've checked out some of the other videos I've done a complete video about this but basically this just feeds power excess power that I'm not using otherwise um, into the mains so you can do that by turning this on and off and um, what I tend to find is that I have to shut this off completely and then turn it, you know, flick these over. If I want to flick between um, the Victron and the grid tie, I have to actually turn them, everything off by these main ones, then turn them back on. Otherwise, my Raspberry Pi, which is down here, which handles the monitor inside, uh, that one's, that's the Raspberry Pi, that's the hub. Otherwise, it just seems to crash, which is really, really weird. But anyway, you just get around that by just turning everything off. I think it's something to do with, like, voltage surges or something. I don't know. Down here is just kind of battery chargers. These are the chargers that I use for the e-bike batteries. That's a charger that can actually charge these batteries um, when there's no solar power or if I just need to top them up. And um, then there's like all other kind of lawnmower batteries and other things down there. And then if we go up here, this one here is actually my, um, this connects the grid tire to the mains. So basically dangerous stuff. Um, if you turn that off, then you know, you're not getting any power from the grid tire across um, and then you've got this little meter here which monitors what's going into the grid so it's like a sort of um, yeah it's just a basic an energy monitor which if you come down here you see that little thing flashing there that's basically the USB connection which runs all the way around there to the Raspberry Pi and then that's how you monitor it so things have changed a little bit I've moved the computer over here obviously for the studio but you can still monitor everything on this um, just any computer basically. This is just um, logging into the Raspberry Pi on the um, kind of IP address of the Raspberry Pi and it just boots up and shows you this. So right now you can see 12.4 amps going in, uh, batteries are at 88%. Um, if you come down here, you'll see there's 22.3 amp hours remaining. So there's got a little bit to go. There's the midpoint voltage um, section, which is cool because it shows you the top and the bottom on the screen which is quite neat. We're 88% battery so we've still got 22 amp hours to put in um, before the batteries are actually charged. Now 
if we go into the solar charger, you'll see 178 watts there. If we go into daily history in there, you'll see so far today it's 12 o'clock and we've got 0.8, yeah, just ticked up there, 0.84 watt hours. So it's not bad just for two panels really, is it? So back on the main screen, see up here, grid time inverter says zero. Now what you can do is basically just, if I shut this down, so I shut the panel power off, so there's no panel power coming in, um, and then I'll turn off the Victron and turn on the grid tie, and turn everything on, and you'll see what will happen down here. You get a red light on there. In a second that will turn green, and that, that is basically showing you that it's, well, it'll start flashing green first, and then it will show you, um, once it's locked onto its uh, PowerPoint, it will, it will actually go solid, he says. There you go, gone solid. And then up here you'll see 167 watts going in. It's not completely sunny, so it's a bit cloudy. But anyway, that's going in from there, so that will just sit there and uh, do that all day. Hopefully that will just increase a bit. So that's a quick rundown. You can see so far, as I showed you before, it's basically 0.84 watt hours gone in. Obviously that won't be increasing now anymore because we're using the, um, the grid tire. Now the thing with the grid tire on here is you can't Unfortunately, this hasn't got a daily reading. It'd be nice if they could add that, but it means you need to take note of this number here every day um, and work out, you know, what the extra is. But basically, it's getting in about two kilowatt hours, 2.1, 2.2, something like that at the moment, which is definitely higher than the winter because you've got the daylight hours, but the, the overall power is a little bit lower um, because the, uh, the heat efficiency of the panels drops and obviously with the heat and then you, you get less less power in. So whereas in the winter I'd see a maximum peak of about 280 watts from the two panels. That's because um, this is only capable of doing about nearly 300 watts anyway. Um, it's a little bit higher on the grid time. But basically it's down a little bit because of the heat. But then you've got more daylight hours in the day so it kind of, kind of evens out. So you actually get more energy in in the summer, which you'd expect. Mention these down here, that's for charging the e-bike batteries and using the drill packs. I could do it four of these because I've got four batteries, um, but that's what I'm charging them on. Um, and it's working really well. It just basically, they are connected to this inverter. So power comes in from the sun, goes into these batteries, and then is powered directly off that. And there's the bike, ready to roll. But no bike today yet, guys, because we're going to be going out. Not quite yet though. Just want to have a look at this. See, the quad bike is basically broken at the moment because, if you can see this, there's basically, this has snapped. So, being the fact that I haven't got a welder, and I've never done welding before, uh, do I try and fix it by getting some sort of welding gear and doing it myself, and have a go. I've got a sweet in my mouth, by the way. Or do I try and find a new one from somewhere? Probably the second option is probably going to be better, um, but I don't know, I need to have a look on on eBay. I'm not sure what this model is actually based on. The tent, I think it might be like an Orion 110cc quad or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. I just need that fixed because I really want to use this. So obviously guys, this is an electric quad bike, there's the motor in there. Um, I'm not going to get it all out now, but you've probably seen some of the other videos on it. But it'd just be ideal at the moment because I mowed a lot of the fields around here, and this would be this would be great. And my cats had just joined me. Right, just flicking about on eBay. I thought this might be the one, but it's not because that has got those bits there, and this actually kind of fits from the outside, and that obviously fits from the inside. So yeah, the back looks right, but it's not going to fit. Ah oh, man, I need to find a way. Right, I think I've managed to find one that looks like it. Uh, but this is this is Alibaba, not even AliExpress. I don't even know if I can just order order one. Might have to message them, get the exact dimensions. Right guys, check this out. I've had this a while now, um, but because I've been kind of out and about on these country lanes at night, um, I've dug it out again because I had this on the bike originally. It's a really bright light, basically. Um, <clears throat> it's probably the brightest one you, you'll find. Um, and I've been using that, haven't I? So I've been kind of using this light, but 
the beam pattern on this is a bit weird and it kind of you know it's, it's good it's good enough but it's not insane and you know we like it's insane um so this little bad boy is quite an expensive bit of kit but it is blooming awesome absolutely awesome uh i've been messing around with these for quite a long time i use this on the quad bike and that's kind of what made me think about it uh, but yeah basically i don't know exactly i think i've got four leds in there but i'll show you it later when i come back hopefully and i'll what i'm going to do i'm basically just going to put this back on the bike and run this as well as this light because this is a great kind of daytime running light this just basically makes you stand out um, when you're on the road but as i said before the beam pan is a bit weird it looks nice on the bike and i was contemplating whether to take it off completely and kind of go back to kind of a more low profile or more simpler kind of build but i don't know i don't know guys it's just kind of you kind of do this and then you change things and it's just what what always happens and never never happy you'll never be satisfied with this stuff anyway this is pretty low it needs a charge it's got this quite cool little um display on the back see that charge 26 percent and it gives you a run time and everything else you can actually see how long you've got to go on it um that's the charger there i just need to i just need to plug it in all right time to go out it's the mother-in-law's birthday treat <laughs> tickets you got? Oh, the only ones left. Oh, the only ones left. Oh. <laughs> You'll be alright, just drink your wine. <laughs> that is mad, it just feels like out. proper vertigo when you sort of weird. Out. This is where you sat and you came before. Right, back home guys. I don't mean home as in this is my home. Kind of might look like it's my home because I'm in here a lot. Um, but <laughs> no, anyway, it was a really good night. We had a really good night. Um, you know, Queen, I, I kind of grew up listening to like, Queen. Well, like my parents had it on, like my grandparents used to listen to it. My, you know, other members of the family used to listen to it. It wasn't like always like my favourite, but 
I've got to say, impressive. Obviously, they've got this singer now, um, Adam Lambert, his name is, and I, I mean, really good. I was really impressed with it overall. Like, the O2 is a wicked, wicked arena. Like, if you're ever in the UK, like, or you live in the UK, whatever, you, you've got to go to the O2 in London. It is a superb arena. Sounds really good as well. But yeah, it's basically the mother in law's birthday present um, that Sarah had kind of arranged. And um, yeah, I think she enjoyed it. She sort of really enjoyed it, actually. So that is all good. Anyway, guys, it's getting really late. Um, I wanted to wrap this vlog up. I was going to show you something when I, I was going to show you this bad boy. Now it's dark outside. Let's do that and then I'm going to call it a night. So you can see how dark it is out here. Absolutely pitch black. All right, that gives you an idea of how bright it actually is. Let's just go out over there somewhere. So, you know, that is just, that's insane basically. It's got different power settings. You can actually drop it down um, to the lower level, but I think, yeah, that's the higher one. What tends to happen with it is it will, it kind of, um, it's kind of got a motion detector on it. So it kind of, it dips the power down. Um, and then you kind of, once you start riding, it goes back up again. But I mean, just crazy thing. Look at that, I mean, that is just, it's just insane. Love it. So yeah, I'm thinking I'll get another mount because the other mount's actually on the quad bike. Um, and then I'll probably just put it here or under here somewhere. Maybe just, I don't know how it'll work. Probably just, yeah, under the handlebars or something like that. And I've got this light and that light. Um, it's not really any point having that light really, but when I tried it the other day, I did actually have both lights on and it's just, I mean, it's just ridiculous with both lights on. It's like, you know, you're going to see so much. Anyway, guys, that really is it now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, do the usual stuff, Instagram, um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, all that. And um, I'll catch you in the next video, guys.